In this video I'm going to show you how to remove the uh, piston from the connecting rod on this two-stroke engine. Uh, this, this engine is on a, a Echo trimmer. It's an SRM230 uh, trimmer. I've already mo removed the uh, cylinder bolt so I'm going to lift the cylinder off and pull the piston out. Um, but before I completely remove the piston it's always a good idea to take a rag and um, stuff it into this crankcase cavity so that it will catch anything that might fall out and won't drop into the crankcase. And then you can go ahead and pull the cylinder off. The uh, piston is connected to the uh, connecting rod by a pin called a uh, wrist pin or it's sometimes called a piston pin. Uh, the piston pin fits through the piston uh, right here and this part of the piston is called a piston boss. On each side of the wrist pin there's a, a, a snap ring uh, clip that holds the pin in place. Uh, most, um, most piston pins are uh, free floating which means they're, they're free to move around inside of the piston and the connecting rod so um, they're fairly easy to get out. If you, if you have a, uh, a wrist pin that's, or a piston pin that's press fit uh, you might need a special tool to pull it out but on, uh, on most engines they're just they're free floating so um, it's usually just a matter of removing one of these snap rings and then going to the other side and pushing the pin through. This is the uh, snap ring that holds the uh, wrist pin in place. Uh, there's one on each side of the wrist pin and to uh, get the uh, wrist pin or piston pin out you need to remove one of these snap rings. Uh, the way that you do that is you grab it with a uh, pair of needle nose pliers, uh, pull it towards the center and then twist counterclockwise and pull out. and there it is. With the uh, snap ring out of this side of the piston I'm going to come around to the other side and push the uh, piston pin through. Uh, just enough and then until, until I can grab it with a pair of needle nose pliers and pull it the rest of the way through. and then I can pull the piston off. Here is the uh, piston I just took off of the engine. Uh, here's the wrist pin or piston pin. Uh, it's hollow, just fits inside the piston boss like this. Uh, on top of the piston you have an arrow. Uh, the arrow points towards the uh, exhaust port when you reinstall the piston so the piston will fit back on the connecting rod like this. Uh, when I took off the piston I found uh, there's these two washers the washers fit on each side of the uh, connecting rod like this and the uh, wrist pin or piston pin fits through the washers. You need to make sure that you reinstall these when you reinstall the piston and um, these could have easily fallen off and fell into the crankcase cavity so it's another reason why you should uh, cover up the crankcase cavity uh, as soon as you can. At the end of the uh, connecting rod where the uh, wrist pin fits through, uh, you have these uh, needle bearings and the cage for the needle bearings is press fit in the connecting rod so as long as everything is functioning correctly you shouldn't have to worry about uh, any of these needle bearings falling out when you remove the piston. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, thank you for watching.